Welcome back to Costa Arsenal Podcast. My name is Costa. Welcome back to a brand new video. This is your latest Arsenal news and transfer. And it's going to be talking about all the transfer stories around the club. There's a lot going on. Arsenal are focused on getting a striker in 2024. And that name is Ivan Ferguson. I want your thoughts. I want your opinions right in the comment box below. If we were to sign a striker, which we are going to do, by the way, that is the next phase of Mikel Arteta's plan in the transfer window. He wants to get in a number nine. We are looking at Evan Ferguson at Brighton as the main name. Brighton want 100 million, but of course there are other names on the market like Victor Rossiman. I like him. Uh, like Ivan Turner as well. He's just said on the diary of a CEO uh, on YouTube that he really likes Arsenal. Uh, and as a young person, as a young boy, he grew up watching Arsenal and Arsenal are really an interesting prospect for him. Uh, of course, there are other strikers as well that Arsenal could look at, but um, I want your thoughts. We are going to get in a number nine. The Arsenal will be with... For, for probably for the next maybe uh, six, seven years. Which player do you think Arsenal should be looking at in that centre forward position? We're going to be talking about Gabriel Magales. We're going to be talking about uh, Kudus and, of course, Florian Balogun, who is yet to find a team to buy him this summer. If you like the content, hit the like button, subscribe to the podcast as well. Let's get this video 500 likes and let's dive into the latest around the club. Now, let's start off with that big story from transfers.com. They've just confirmed that in 2024, Arsenal and Mikel Arteta are focused on getting in a center forward, a number nine, a guy who can actually score for them goals. Now, um, it's something we've talked about, I think, right from uh, when we lost Pierre Mkabamiang, uh, we wanted a number nine. We wanted a guaranteed goal scorer. You know, with Abameyang, you had a goal, a goal scorer. You had a guaranteed goal scorer. Um, and probably until his later parts of his career uh, at Chelsea, at Arsenal as well, he's been a, a guaranteed goal, uh, you know, goal, goal talisman. Like, he's one of those strikers that really guarantee you goals. And when he came in at Arsenal and at St. Wenger, we saw that. And at Una Emery, we saw that. And in the earlier parts of Mikel Arteta's, um, you know, tenure at Arsenal, we also saw that as well. So losing Prem Kabameyang and losing Alexander Lacazette um, was not the best scenario Arsenal could find themselves in. And then bringing in a striker who massively underscores his XG in Gabriel Esis also was not the picture perfect scenario you would actually want to see but um with all the departments now a little bit sorted i think the defense is all right although julian timba is injured the goalkeeping department has been sorted the midfield is a little bit better although we need one more creative player in my opinion so we need to get a striker now we need to add the icing to the cake okay and there's so many names. But of course, Arsenal is saying that um, uh, they're going to sign or they will try to sign uh, Tony Bloom's Brighton's Evan Ferguson. That one is going to take some time. Mark my words, Arsenal should start negotiating for Evan Ferguson right now if we're going to sign him in the summer of 2024. That one is going to take some time. And I, I really reckon it's a story that we're going to spend a lot of time hearing and listening to until he either signs or he doesn't sign for Arsenal. Uh, but this is what I'm going to say. I will do a video about um, Evan Ferguson, the case for e e Evan Ferguson and the full story. But this is what I'm going to say about this one. I think Arsenal are really, really prudent. We are trying to be, up, up, you know, we are trying to be um, uh, cautious. Uh, you know, you want to get a, a striker who's 21, uh, 22, a player with a lot of future, a big future ahead of him, and a player that can simply come in and, you know, suit the system. I think Everson, uh, uh, you know, Evan Ferguson can actually be that player. You look at how Brighton play, you look at how Brighton set up, you look at him, he's a real striker, like... I don't know how they got such a talent right from the academy. I'm, I'm not too sure how Arsenal do not have such a player in our academy because this guy is massively, massively talented. And he's one of the players I read a lot in the Premier League. He's currently not starting. Uh, the likes of Joao Pedro standing ahead of him. The likes of uh, Danny Welbeck standing ahead of him. The, the likes of, uh, you, know, or, you know, Undav. I just don't even understand how Undav is starting ahead of Ferguson. But if Arsenal gets him, if Arsenal sign him, he would be a massive addition. So the difference between him and Gabriel Jesus is um is very easy. He, he, he does like to drop into the midfield. He does like to hold the ball as well as a, as a huge center forward. Uh, and the more he's going to grow, the better he's going to develop. He's going to turn into your Dusan Blahovic. He's got that energy. 
and then he's got the top speed but then he's got that eye for goal right he's really really got that eye for goal and it's one of the things i really like about him at a very young age he's already written his name among the you know the strikers who are going to score 10 to 15 goals this campaign um if he doesn't pick up those sort of injuries he's been picking up uh in previous seasons so evan ferguson one to watch Arsenal want a striker, but I thought we would talk about other strikers as well in Victor Rossiman. Victor Rossiman is, uh, uh, is one to watch as well. The problem with Victor is Aureli De Laurentiis. That guy is so hard to negotiate with. I even wonder how he makes money from player sales. That guy is so difficult to negotiate with. And one thing we know with Arsenal, Edu, um, and whoever is actually doing our negotiations... They, you are either sold on to selling to them or you do not want to sell to them. And if you don't want to sell to them, they don't waste their time convincing you. If you are sold on to selling th to them, then absolutely they will be in talks. But uh, Victor Rossiman is another name Arsenal should be looking at. A uh, very good player. He did score a brace against um, Fresnone as well uh, in his uh, opening day, uh, uh, you know, for the Italian Serie A. He's trying to defend that, uh, you know, scud not, not really Scudetto, but I don't know how their golden boot is called in Italian Serie A. I just forgot. Uh, but... He's another interesting name. And with Victor Rossiman, he's going to have a second season at the top. Um, a second very good season at the top. He's had a, a couple of you know, seasons at the top. But last season was, was, was his real season at the top. This season is going to be his se se second season. And it's going to be a prove it season. If he proves it, that he can be a reliable goal machine, Arsenal should be looking at that. Because these are, these, these are deals that um, we're going to try to do for 100 million. Right, a hundred million for Evan Ferguson, a hundred million for um for, for Victor Rossiman. They're expensive deals, and we should be very very cautious. Now, um, talking about strikers, Ivan Tony was speaking to um the diary of a CEO. That's a show I really watch a lot. Um, and he was saying that um he's a big Liverpool fan, but right from young he actually liked Arsenal and he was saying that if he was going to go anywhere from Brentford it has to be the right project it has to be the right uh, the right club and it has to be um you know probably an ambitious project I would love Ivan Antony at Arsenal like there's no question about that I doubt Mikel Atta would want him after saying you know nice kick about with boys and, and all that uh, probably Mikel can actually put it behind him but if you want a striker that's not very expensive but guarantees you goals that guy guarantees you goals one would have um a good penalty taker so you know if you're in the for champions league and it is four out of um it is four on four and the opponent have missed one and that is the last penalty kick that takes you to be champions you have a guy who has only missed one penalty ever since arriving in the premier league and that is ivan Tony. i don't think he, he missed a penalty in the championship as well so I like him. I really, really do. Like, he's got that ability to influence and facilitate other players to play off him. And then he's got the ability to finish. As, as simple as that. And he makes finishing very, very easy. I like his positioning. I like his energy. I like his physicality. I like his brain. I like his intelligence. I like his, his speed. Not the most fastest player. But when he needs to, you know, uh, get the gears running... He absolutely, do, he absolutely does it. So, um, strikers and the striker talk is going to be on until the summer of 2024. Right, let's talk about other players that um, uh, are linked with or without Arsenal today. And uh, let's start off with um, Mohamed Kudus. Now, Ajax are saying that because no other club actually is, no, actually no club is serious. Arsenal agreed past two times with Mohamed Kudus. West Ham are very close to agreeing the deal for, uh, for Kudus, but then they need to sell Lucas Paqueta fast. Ajax are getting frustrated and um, they're saying this could be the end. This could be the end of the story. We might actually decide to keep the player after all. Now, Arsenal do not want that, but um, we, we, find them, we find ourselves in a very difficult you know, position. We have to sell Balogun. We have to sell all these guys that aren't actually going away. Uh, no one wants to give us good money. And Kudus, to come in, we would actually need to sell. Now, I, th I still think Arsenal are really focused on that right wing. I, I just don't think the money is focused on our pockets. I think the money is, you know, eluding us and evading us. And I don't know what we should do. But Ajax are getting frustrated. They're saying the season has started. Uh, we want maximum concentration. And, and, and to be honest, Ajax are a club that do... Early business. Look at Jalen Timber. 
Look at Ray Gravebe last year. Look at uh, Lisandro Martinez. They want to do early business and then, you know, settle, right? Um, so they're saying if no one wants to sign him, if no one is meeting the, re uh, the, the requirements, then absolutely we're going to be keeping him at, uh, you know, at Ajax this year. Okay, Rob Holding has phoned suitors and those two clubs interested RNA in France and, um, uh, and Besiktas. Arsenal have a very good relationship uh, with Rene and... Um, uh, that is where th that is where we sent um, uh, Florian Balogun last summer. That is where he was. Oh, he was at Reims, not at Rene. Sorry about that. Um, I, I mean, I, I confused the two. So Rene in France are interested in um, in Rob Holding as a centre back. It's not yet clear if they want to sign him on a permanent or in a, or, on a loan deal. But Shiktash are in talks to sign the player uh, with Arsenal. It is also not yet known if they will shift their position from. 2.5 million and a loan deal uh, to some sub, you know, su substantial and significant you know amount of money. So Besiktas want to pay around 2.5 million. Arsenal want around 12 million. That is um, a difference of 10 million or at least 9.5 million in terms of where Arsenal is standing and where Besiktas are standing as well in this deal. So it's when it's going to take some time. I want to watch it, but Rob Holding keep your eyes on that guy he could be leaving this summer uh albert samuel Akonga to burnley is off i'm quite very very disappointed uh, that this deal has actually not uh, gone through now according to what i understand albert samuel Akonga has rejected the option to go to burnley because burnley do not want to uh pay his wages the way he wants so financially it is not as attractive to the player as Burnley thought it would be. Now, Aston wanted him to go there on loan and then plus an obligation or option to buy. Burnley were open with that, into that, but it looks like the player is going to be um, a, a hard nut to crack. But I still think Albert Samuelokonga will leave uh, this summer. I still think Lokonga will leave. Uh, uh, you know, Pepe is another player that is having problems with leaving Arsenal this summer with uh, his move at, with, with his move to Besiktas, now a little bit in jeopardy, but he should be leaving anytime soon uh, as well. Florian Balogun, Arsenal at, at least expect, expecting one bit from either Tottenham or Fulham. Fulham are stepping up their efforts to sign him, especially after that thumping or, you know, in the weekend. I just don't know how Fulham are going to cop up this season. Uh, but Fulham want to pay around 35 plus add-ons, which could actually take the deal to 40 million pounds. In my opinion, if Arsenal are getting around 42, 43 million pounds, that would be a good deal. We should be able to sell at that price, right? So uh, Tottenham, of course, are interested under Angel Postecoglou. I'm even thinking twice about um, us selling Balogun to, uh, to, to Tottenham. Can you just imagine that guy going to Tottenham with James Madison, Jean Kulisewski, Son, Human, Javis Bissouma? It, it, it might be a problem. It might be a problem for Arsenal. It might be a problem for the Premier League. But not, not, none of our business, none of my business, if he wants to go there, he could go. I, I, honestly, he could go. But I prefer him to go to Fulham uh, because he would do more, less harm than good, okay? Less harm, less, less harm than good. And finally, um, Gabriel Magales has rejected the option to go to uh, Real Madrid. He's also rejected the option to go to Saudi Arabia. He's happy at Arsenal and he would love to stay at the club. Isn't that nice? Isn't that really, really nice? It's absolutely nice. Very nice. So Gabriel Magales will be staying at Arsenal. He's just got his call-up for Brazil uh, for the September um, uh, World Cup qualifiers. Is it World Cup qualifiers? Yeah, I think they are the September World Cup qualifiers. So he will be all right. He will be absolutely all right. So um, um, Gabby will stay. Gabby will stay at Arsenal. I'll speak to you right in the next one. Hit the like button. Ciao.